Yes. This is lesson number 70. My name is Teacher Ibrahim. Previously, I was talking about the antigens, antibodies, and the blood groups. Today, I'm going to talk about blood transfusion. Blood transfusion refers to the process whereby blood is transferred from the circulatory system of one person to the circulatory system of another. This person who is giving out blood, who is donating blood, is referred to as a donor. While whoever is receiving this blood into his or her circulatory system is said to be a recipient. Therefore, we can define the term blood transfusion as the process whereby blood is transferred from the circulatory system of the donor to the circulatory system of the recipient. During the process of blood transfusion, the blood type must be identified. That is by knowing whether the person is having blood group A, AB, B, or blood group O. So that in the process of transfusing blood, there will be no tissue rejection. There will be no the process whereby the tissues of that person who is receiving the blood, specifically the blood tissue, is not going to reject this blood from uh, the donor. Because if that happens, then the red blood cells may clump together, hence leading to a process called agglutination. Agglutination is actually the clumping of the red blood cells. In this process, you need to understand that whatever causes the process of agglutination is the antibodies. Since the antibodies of an individual must screen the antigens of the blood that is coming in, that is the blood from the donor, so that if they are corresponding, if the antigens of the donor and the antibodies of the recipients are corresponding, then this antibody will react against it, hence leading to agglutination. Individuals with blood group A has antibody B, while individuals with blood group B has antibody A. Therefore, that antibody A that is uh, uh, present in blood group B will prevent the process of transfusion from taking place by reacting against that antigen A which is present on the red blood cell of that donor's blood. So, that must be considered at all times. But remember that there are two individuals who are having the unique blood types, that is blood group AB and blood group O. Hence, the blood group O individual is capable of donating blood to all the other four blood groups. Hence, he is said to be a universal donor, that is blood group O. While for this person who is having blood group AB, is capable of receiving blood from all the other four blood groups and therefore is said to be a universal recipient. There is a, a PowerPoint here that I've just prepared to make you understand even much better how the process of blood transfusion may take place and I'm also going to explain much more about uh, the universal donor and universal recipient and why they are capable of receiving or donating blood to all these other four blood groups. So let's check on this and see what's going to happen. Okay. Let's look at it. There are four types of blood groups, namely blood group A, blood group B, blood group AB, and blood group O. 
These blood groups are represented in capital letters and they are determined by the type of antigen that is found on the surface of the red blood cell. In addition to the antigens which are found on the surface of the red blood cells, there are some antibodies which are protein in nature. Antibodies are also represented using alphabetical letters A, B and O, but here small letters are used so as to differentiate them from the antigens. The function of antibodies is to protect the blood from invasion by foreign antigens or you can call them the foreign bodies. For example, when blood is being transfused from the donor's circulatory system into the recipient's circulatory system, the antibodies of the recipient will check on that type of blood. We say that the antibody will screen the incoming blood to check whether there is some antigen which is corresponding to it. Hence, agglutination will take place. I will explain how that happens in a short while. Let's check on this simple diagram here to understand something about blood transfusion. These ones are the donors while these other ones are the recipients. This donor with blood group A can donate blood to the recipient with blood group A and it will be successful because here the antibody of the recipient will check on the presence of antigens which are corresponding to it from the donor's blood. For example, this antibody here represented with small letter B checks on the presence of antigen in the donor's blood and if there is, then agglutination will occur. In this case, it is a successful transfusion because here the antibody of the recipient is not corresponding to the antigen of the donor. We say they are corresponding when they are represented using the same letters. For example, this one is antibody B. Were it that the donor had antigen B, that is a donor with blood group B, then the transfusion process wouldn't have been successful. Hence, the process of agglutination will take place. Having understood that basic concept, we can now move into another part where I'm now going to talk more about the universal recipient. Blood group AB individuals are said to be universal recipients because they can receive blood from all the other four blood groups. How do you think that is made possible? It is definitely due to the fact that they do not have antibodies which are meant to protect the blood against inversion of the foreign bodies. Here, this person is lacking an antibody and therefore when blood is donated by an individual having any type of blood group, there will be no agglutination because here there is no antibody and therefore any blood type that comes in finds that there is no antibody here to screen it up. It is like getting into a region with no security personnel. Any individual may get in regardless of where he is coming from and what the intentions of that person is. When blood is donated from an individual with blood group A, it will be a successful transfusion. When blood is donated by an individual with blood group B, it will still be successful because there is no antibody which is in this recipient's blood. 
hence it cannot protect the blood against any type of blood coming into the circulatory system let's check on this other one which is showing the universal donor individual with blood group o is said to be a universal donor because they are able to donate blood to all the other four blood groups since i told you earlier that the antibody plays a role of protecting the blood against the foreign antigen against the foreign type of blood then here you need to understand that an individual with blood group a contains antibody b as i said earlier the function of this antibody b is to check on the presence of antigen b from the donor so that agglutination can take place that is caused by the antigen antibody reaction which is caused by the fact that the antigens of the donor may be corresponding to the antibodies of the recipient and the reason as to why blood group o is capable of donating blood to all these other four blood groups is because blood group o members do not have antigens and therefore when the blood is getting into the recipient's circulatory system the recipient's antibody cannot find any antigen on the surface of these red blood cells and therefore the process of agglutination cannot be witnessed and therefore blood group o members are capable of donating blood to all the other four blood groups hence the term universal donor thanks for watching the video please remember to subscribe thank you